Hi there, I want to talk to you about one of my favourite games called Airport Inc. Now, it was also known as Airport Tycoon and Air Mogul, so um, depends where you're from. Um, in the UK it was called Airport Inc. Now, it says here Chris Alice became defunct shortly after, so I'm guessing that it should be abandoned where so you should be able to pick it up for free and completely legal um, so oh, I always find myself coming back to this game um, even though new games have a lot of hype you know you play I play them and after the honeymoon period I just find myself going back to this uh, sometimes I might not go back to it for a year or two years but then I get back into it and immerse myself in it for days and days um, but this game was made really with Windows 95 and 98 in mind because it was released in 2000 um, I'm not sure if XP was around then um, but with the introduction of XP Although the game works, it doesn't work with graphics enabled with you using your graphics card. Um, you have to change you have to change the option to from DirectX to um, software render, and then the game works. But Unfortunately, software emulation is really slow, um, and it doesn't even matter with today's modern processors. It still is really slow, especially when your airport gets really big and you've got a lot of things going on, big terminal, big actual airport grounds, um, lots of planes coming in and out. It can get really slow. So, what I discovered recently, um, which I knew nothing about, which is a shame, but um, I know about it now, is a utility called Glide Wrapper. So, if you open your search engine, type Glide Wrapper, and I chose this one, Zoo Software. Now, if you go in here, download it it's a very small file you can see here it's 2 megs 2000 kilobytes which is 2 megs um, so if you download that and run it it's a very quick install and what that does it, it takes the GL 3dfx GL extensions and in essence wraps them uh, points them to the equivalent direct X commands so therefore for now when you run the game you can actually select glide 3dfx as your option which is which it is here and when you run it the game runs fine and it actually runs with 3dfx extensions as well so i highly recommend that um, i just wanted to give you a heads up in case uh, you didn't know and you also play this game or you look into get the game or you've just got the game and you're thinking oh it's too slow and i can't play this so now you know what to do and you should have a lot more enjoyment out of the game I also plan to make uh, a let's play sort of series of me playing the game and introduce, introduce, introducing um, the functions to beginners as well. 